Well, just like there's grants <laughs> to pay for expenses, the living expenses that nobody knows about, there's also grants or free ways to get prescription drugs that nobody talks about. And Biden's doing, doing a lot about that. Uh, but there's existing programs. They're all over. Now, here, here's, here's how to start looking for them. Uh, and they'll pay for everything. You know, it's different everywhere and it's different, the kind of drug, but here's the sources. These are people that do this for, that help you get these drugs for free. So you use them because they know all this stuff. You don't have to study this stuff. Okay, here's where to go. Needymeds.org. Great for any kind of health care, even for grants if you're sick and you need grants because you're sick. Man, they've got a great database on that. But let's concentrate on, on the, uh, uh, the prescription drugs. Okay, if you go to the tab up on top called Healthcare Savings, and you see brand name drugs, generic drugs, program name, everything. So that's where you put in your drugs that you need to find programs that pay for that. OK, and you just put it in and see, here's the interesting thing. They have a service for free that helps you fill out the applications. Now, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, a lot of our members say, well, I need help filling out an application. Well, you probably don't, but sometimes you do. And so that's what, what's neat here. What happened this? <laughs> oh, here it comes. Okay. So you put in the name of your drug here and, and, and uh, there's a program that pays for for free. Okay, it's not for rich people, but so if you're struggling with with paying for drugs, that's what this is for. Now, this website has more than that. <clears throat> it also has us information on all the state programs because your state could have programs. Uh, let's say let's take a look at Arizona, and they have programs to help you pay for drugs. Yeah, you know, every state is different. Again, there we go. Come on, where is it? Oh, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming, Matthew. Hold your horses. <laughs> okay, so it's there. My, my uh, air, it's coming. Oh, it must be as old as I am. It could take so long to get somewhere. <laughs> but here it is. See, it gives you all the health care programs for your state. I mean, look at this, 20, 30 programs. Now, there's one or two in there, I know, that are help with prescription drugs. So that's where you got to go. So you look at uh, the drug you're taking and on the first page, this page, it shows you the uh, state programs. And then you also want to go to, oh, no, that's healthcare. <laughs> but I think it's also in healthcare savings, um, you want to see in the assistance because they have financial assistance. So maybe you have hypertension or uh, you have cancer and you're taking this drug or whatever. Also look here because this includes uh, uh, prescription drugs, but it doesn't say. So you could look by diagnosis what your condition is that you have to take prescription drugs. Let's see, I'm a little slow here. Why? I should be used to this now that I'm 80. <laughs> but and when you get to the diagnosis, you put in your, your condition and they'll show you all the nonprofit organizations that have grants. You know, maybe you're taking like for breast cancer or something. And then there's organizations that have grants to help you pay for uh, prescription drugs for uh, breast cancer. Actually pay for anything for breast cancer and for anything <laughs> in all the... Uh, the conditions that are uh, out there. Boy, this is a real slow computer. What'd you do to this, Lesko? <laughs> but another thing, remember, don't forget to open enrollment now for healthcare.gov. You want to go there um, uh, to see if you get covered. And they say four out of five people who apply get healthcare complete coverage for less than $10 a month. Wow. I mean, Ten dollars a month to get covered in healthcare. I mean, that's astounding. Now, how do you figure that out in healthcare.gov? That's a little could be a little trying, but there's something called localhealth.healthcare.gov. You put in your zip code there, and it's going to be slow again, so I'm not going to even bother and wait. <laughs> and, and then you find the organizations where you live that are nonprofit organizations that are there to help you through this process for free. Remember, they're free. And if you go online to do this, you're going to get somebody who's going to be selling you health care and making money from you. You don't want that. You want the people who, <laughs> who are giving you money. 
not the people who you have to make money. Okay, one other place you want to go. For seniors, uh, for Medicare, if you need help applying and figuring out Medicare stuff, there's free people that are nonprofit organizations that help you with that process are free. And they're everywhere in America. And you go to SHIP, S-H-I-P, help, and you put locator, see? And then you put in your state, you live in New Jersey? Okay, you just click in New Jersey and it's gonna be, okay, here's the hotline in New Jersey to get free help if you're a senior. Yeah. See, everything is free. You just gotta know where to look. Don't look in Google. You're not going to find it free there. That's a place where people make money. So they're either going to make money from something you can get for free or scam the hell out of you, which is getting more and more there. And, and, and that's important that you be careful with that. So use these uh, organizations. You always want to go to .gov or .org. Anybody else going to get money from you? So beware and make sure it's free.